very good afternoon to all all the distinguished guests and today for this webinar on precision aluminium waveguide tubes and fabri fabricated waveguides organized by siddhi group ahmedabad india myself bhavik thakur host for this webinar before we proceed for today's webinar allow me to brief on few points about this zoho platform the presentation will be for around 30 to 40 minutes followed by one poll asking for your ratings from 1 to 5 stars wherein one star will be least and five stars will be highest ratings later the session will be open for q and a session for next 10 to 15 minutes participants can type their questions in q and a tab during presentation or during q and a session however a response to all the questions will be addressed during q and a session only participants will be on mute by default for entire session but any participant willing to speak during q and a he or she should click on raise hand button and will be allowed to speak now introducing to all the three partners of this organization firstly mr bhagwat patel founder and technical partner and speaker for today's webinar mr prashant gandhi again founder and technical partner and mr sailesh patel the managing partner thank you all for your patience with this i invite mr bhagwat to take it further over to you mr bhagwat thank you good afternoon to all and welcome to our webinar uh, i think as you know uh, this webinar is Related to aluminium fiber tubes, which is used for communications and into microwave and radio frequency communications. And these are used in very wide applications related to communications. Before we proceed towards the main subject let me introduce our organization we have two manufacturing units one is siddhi engineers where we manufacture precision aluminium drawn tubes and another one is samruddhi engineering where we are manufacturing textile machine accessories as cobs bobbin used for synthetic yarn winding like nylon and polyester our group is more than 30 years in the manufacturing and to be very precise we have completed 33 years and currently we are in 34 year of our operations uh, we are located in western india proximity to segment is near to us uh, as i explained that we are in the manufacturing of precision aluminum tubes which is again used in very varieties of application few of them is uh, one is aerospace and defense applications whereby we supply and develop any products related to uh, payload like one is one of them is waveguide any other products is like uh, uh, cryogenic fuel supply line and uh, 
many other aerospace great products and as far as defense is concerned we have developed uh, missiles like as akash missiles brahmos missiles some components used in brahmos missile akash missile and also we have developed tubes for uh, missile launcher also man portable anti tank guided missile launcher tubes are also being developed other than this lot of industrial applications are also uh, developed and supply to the customers uh, one of them is uh, pneumatic uh, cylinder tubes other vertical where we manufacture uh, corks and bobbins that is used for winding yarns and it is that to uh, specifically on the drop twisting machines where we supply these products all over the world uh, more than 30 plus countries uh, our main market is europe usa uh, latin america and southeast asia including uh, israel also is uh, one of our major customer now uh, coming to our journey uh, during this 33 years of our manufacturing operations we have crossed many milestones majors are just displayed over here that 88 we started this manufacturing unit we all three partners were studying together in engineering uh, we are mechanical engineers and 81 we passed out after six, seven years of experience in the different field of manufacturing, marketing, we started this organization and uh, we, we are focused in precision aluminum tubes. We have diversified in 92 for metal cob, bobbin and uh, ABS engineering plastic extrusion also. As I said, we export our product to many countries of the world. We have uh, entered in because see, these aluminum precision tubes were very wide application in the industries. So in 2003, we started and entered in the Vikram Sarabhai Space Center, VSSC Trivendram, for cryogenic fuel supply line. Uh, we are ISO 9001 certified since 1998, then ISO 14001 since 2006, and AS 9100 that is specialized for aerospace uh, system. So, aerospace uh, product supplied as per AS 9100. So in 2014, our company is granted certificate for aerospace 9100 uh, manufacturing capabilities. In 2019, uh, because we are supplying to space application center straight wave guide tubes, uh, a proposal came from space application center Ahmedabad for going for technology transfer uh, regarding the uh, waveguide fabrication. We are supplying this uh, waveguide since many years. Now, with the help of the space application technology know-how, uh, we are now able to bend the tubes, uh, welding also, machining also. So, complete waveguide can be supplied except uh, plating capacity capability still we have not acquired and uh, have not started in house but up to the fabrication of the waveguide that capability we have developed in house also being a innovative manufacturers we have applied for many different uh, patents and uh, fortunately and with the uh, we we have been granted uh, two patents and 
five patents are in pipeline and at various stages for the grant. By the next slide. Now, uh, coming to our manufacturing capability, as I explained, that we are manufacturing precision aluminum tubes. And today we are focusing on aluminum precision drawn tubes and that too used for the uh, manufacturing of waveguide. So basically our process is that we purchase aluminum extruded tubes from our suppliers as per the customer requirement of alloy. And uh, extruded tubes are being cold drawn with the help of uh, cold drawing machines. We call it as draw bench using uh, different dyes and materials as per the size required by customer. Uh, another important process uh, of manufacturing the straightening machine. There are so many manufacturing steps in between, but here we have displayed two major machines which we are using it. So this straightening machine also having a capability of uh, giving straightness to the tubes to the tune of one millimeter in the range of 2,500 millimeter of length. We also have in-house uh, testing and measuring capability whereby we we test the products manufactured by us by universal testing machine where we check the tensile properties, mechanical properties of the materials. Another facility we have is the surface roughness when we measure the surface roughness because for the waveguide tubes, surface roughness is very important for uh, minimize the microwave losses, RF losses. So it is one of the capability we have uh, developed in-house whereby we give excellent surface finish and high gaze is very common to mark the uh, waveguide for bending and other operations. To next is uh, that for, for this capability, what we have discussed, we manufactured aluminum precision drawn tubes, which I have explained to you previously, then metal and plastic cobs. So plastic cobs means we manufacture sleeves for uh, metal cobs, which is covering the product. We are also in supplying uh, the aluminum and steel cheese tubes, which is used for PP yarn winding, and then uh, one more product we are dealing with is plastic tubes and uh, accessories, which is again used for making very different varieties of uh, appliances. Now we have uh, supplied 30 million plus meters of aluminum tubes and 15 million plus metal cobs supply to the market. Coming back to our core subject, uh, waveguide, uh, many of us and uh, many of the participants are knowing what is waveguide. But I have tried to uh, introduce the importance of waveguide. As we all know that waveguides are used for communication and uh, transporting or sending microwaves from, from one system to the another system. Uh, this is uh, made from brass, copper, aluminum. And uh, uh, for better communication and better efficiency of the waveguide, it is being uh, plated, coated in, internally with the gold and uh, silver. And, and also uh, other platings are also required. Outside uh, also black, black anodized, black anodizing and other uh, coating is being uh, carried out so that uh, aesthetically as well as the performance wise, it can uh, pass the required test. 
Now, why the waveguide is used uh, instead of uh, cable? Normally, uh, it's, uh, waves are passed through the cables, but for the very uh, high frequency ranges like microwave and optical frequencies and radio frequencies ranges, ranges uh, these uh, cables are not capable of uh, carry out the microwave from one place to another place. So this hollow waveguide is used to have the better efficiency of transmission of microwaves. Uh, and uh, at Siddhi, we have developed these uh, mic uh, waveguide tubes and uh, for the specific application for space application center, whereby they are using these waveguide tubes in their payloads. Uh, till now, more than 15,000 waveguides are already in this space, which are used by space application centers. Now, why, why we have developed these aluminum waveguides? As we all know that copper and brass is also a good metal conductor, uh, which, is, which has a better efficiency. Copper and brass has, have a high density and aluminum has one third of its density. So when, when we talk about the space and payload applications, their weight is a very major criteria and very important aspect because uh, sending weight in the space costs a lot of money. And, uh, to save on the cost, Aluminium is used, and then inside for a better efficiency, silver or gold plating is being carried out, which minimizes the loss. And uh, uh, since we are supplying these waveguide tubes in, for many years, uh, ISRO requested a space application center Ahmedabad to go for the fabrication of the waveguides. And uh, we negotiated, discussed with the space application scientists and engineers, and uh, they uh, they were kind enough to give us the technology. And we acquired this technology, and uh, based on their guidance, we have developed the end product, complete fabricated waveguides with uh, bending, twisting as well as the flange welding capability uh, developed inside in our organization. And uh, the process is going on for the validation, for the facility approval, as well as the pending uh, facility approval. And so many things are going on. But we are confident to have uh, all facility approved and capability to supply the tennis waveguide to the space application center and other customers all over the world. Uh, immediately, we are not thinking of going for the plating operations or final finished product. But before plating, all products are being supplied by us, developed and supplied and in-house. Uh, Coming to the uh, waveguide nomenclature, uh, normally people who are in this line knows better that uh, how this waveguide is identified and known to the industries and users. Uh, Electronic Industries Alliance (EIA) has the given this WR designation for rectangular waveguide. W stands for waveguide and R stands for rectangular. And they have designated WR for rectangular waveguide and then it is given the numbers. So how numbers derive? I, I try to explain these on in these slides that WR 75. That 75 means 750 how? We call it as mills. And uh, 
it is being divided by 10. So 75 is the figure that comes out. And if we convert it into the millimeter size, 7, 750 divided by 1000, this gives the 0 0.75 inch. And if we multiply by 25.4, then it is coming out to be 19.05 mm. And that is the width of the opening width uh, of the rectangular cube. And height is normally half of the width. And this is called as a full height uh, waveguide. So height would be half of 19.05 is 9.525. So WR75 would be 19.05 would be the width and 9.525 mm is the Similarly, so this is the full height uh, waveguide. Similarly, half height and quarter height waveguides are also used, whereby the height is reduced by one fourth and one eighth from the width. Uh, right hand side, we have we try to display the range of product which we are manufacturing. Uh, coming to next uh, is the different operations what we are carrying out so we have a capability of supplying straight waveguide as well as uh, same straight waveguide we do bending we do twisting as well as flange welding also we we purchase flange from the from our vendors and uh, we have in-house flange welding capability so bending capability is being developed in-house, twisting capability is also developed, and welding capability developed. So as per the customer requirement, we can give the bend, bend twist, or uh, flange welded waveguide, as well as a straight waveguide with two side flange wave, whatever required from the customer can be supplied to them. Now, uh, coming to the different sizes and uh, standard sizes which we have developed in our organization, uh, that uh, we have tried to display these uh, sizes available. So, currently, we have WR28 is the minimum size which we have developed up to maximum is WR430. And different thickness for different waveguide because uh, in space application, thickness is very, very critical and very, very important because directly thickness changes is changing in the weight. So space application center always look for the minimum possible thickness. So here, uh, 0.635 thickness we have developed for the space application center. Sometimes uh, for the ground application and other applications, uh, people are asking for higher thickness. So we have developed higher thickness also. So WR28, similarly, all varieties of the waveguide, full height. So this table shows the permutation combination of size including the width and height with thickness as well as uh, what is the height of the waveguide so full height half height and quarter height uh, we also have developed uh, and all these thickness indicated are in the millimeters because we we use we used to work in higher standards so as per the higher standard these are all developed in the millimeter and these millimeter are converted from the inch sizes so up to three digits uh, we have to indicate the dimensions uh, along with standard waveguides we also have uh, developed non-standard waveguide tubes for uh, some of our customers so we we have displayed over here the uh, non-standard uh, three different sizes which we have already developed with uh, different thickness here, uh, I would like to mention that other than this uh, list, we have a capability of uh, developing and supplying 
non standard as well as other standard sizes also as per the customer requirements for manufacturing this waveguide uh, here i try I, I have tried to explain what facility we have developed in house and what 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 facility we are outsourcing so in house uh, by our own technology we have a capability of tube drawing and forming because these all rectangular waveguide we are manufacturing from round tubes only and then later on we form as per the requirement very important aspect for the waveguide is the corner radius also because if the corner radius are more then there is likelihood of more rf losses to avoid these rf losses um, we have kept uh, corner radius as per the customer requirement uh, from space application center I, as i explained we have acquired technology for bending twisting machining as well as uh, welding and outsource process are silver plating flexing so that vendor are also identified for silver and gold plating. And if any customer require this type of uh, plated uh, finished product also, then it can also be supplied. Coming to the next, uh, just I try to explain over here that how bending and twisting, uh, how we develop it. This is a uh, drawing which uh, just a representative drawing to make sure that we have a capability of making this type of uh, wave guides. The next, uh, this is a straight wave guide where we have straight uh, wave guide tubes taken and then two side planes are being welded. This is a typical uh, drawing, uh, typical photo displaying the wavelength using payloads. So in the satellite, in the panel itself, wavelengths are mounted as per the design requirement. And uh, according to that, that bending and other aspects are being taken care of. In bending also, we have, uh, uh, two type of band one is e band and another one is h band e band uh, we call it as easy band where width is being bent and uh, h band is hard band we call it as little difficult because it is height bend, bend bending in the direction of the height but uh, with the help of the space application center technology we have developed both the capability of uh, E-band as well as H-band. So, uh, I try to explain uh, peculiar uh, application and the different type of waveguides what we are manufacturing. Till now, I have um, more or less emphasized on rectangular waveguides. But uh, in-house, we have a capability of uh, supplying round waveguide also. So we, we, we have uh, capability of supplying round waveguides and we are supplying at present to the mobile communication customers for uh, this uh, round waveguides. So there are also very wide variety of round waveguides are also developed uh, in-house. So different applications have different type of waveguide to be used. So this is all about the waveguides. Now coming back to our organization, being a innovative organization and having very large span of manufacturing experience uh, during the, since 1988 till today, uh, our organization has been awarded with 47 plus different type of awards and uh, it has very wide uh, spectrum of awards uh, received from uh, agencies like government of india has awarded us society of 
aerospace manufacturing engineers also have given you know, gold medals twice in 2009 and 2017 and many more other uh, other awards awards from bankers also awards from uh, engineering export promotion council awards from government of gujarat uh, so many uh, agencies and government has awarded us uh, with a lot of different awards and these awards goes to our uh, team our people and our customers who has encouraged us who has uh, demanded a uh, lot of things from us and uh, fortunately we could develop it and could able to supply and satisfy our customers again here we have displayed three different certificates 9000 uh, iso 9100 2018 for aerospace 9001 for care quality management and 14001 for environment as i indicated earlier because when, when we come across lot of different challenges and innovations to protect our rights we have applied for seven different uh, patents for different products out of which we receive two patents one is from government of india and another one is from the government of israel and five applications are in process at different variety of uh, of stages for the acquiring the patents this indicates that our focus is high on the innovation and r&d because day in and day out we come across with lot of different uh, customer requirements and uh, we believe that uh, if a person has done we can do it so if anything is available on these earth related to our product capability we are confident and uh, our team is capable of uh, developing that product process over and above uh, we are in the different partners in our endeavor we have uh, good manufacturing capability uh, we have in house innovation team which is continuously thinking of innovation in process product machine as well as uh, system so innovation is a way of life and uh, we are regularly doing it we have a very partnership approach we associated with lot of uh, institute also like isro is one of our partner who who drive us to develop a product which was not developed in india since many years but because of the drive given by isro space application center particularly in ahmedabad we could achieve this these all milestones thanks to space application center uh, management as well as their engineers we are also very closely associated with uh, drdo emrl so government uh, uh, defense and uh, other organization ordinance factories where we wherever they are looking for something related to aluminum tubes they think of siddhi and siddhi develop it and supply to them to just um, give two simple examples uh, this one is the supporting isro isro the challenge of uh, reducing the payload and uh, uh, before we enter with the isro they used to get the 0.8 mm thickness uh, wave guide whereas uh, challenge was given to us that can you reduce the weight and then we Uh, our engineers started thinking on that line and they they could develop the 0.63 mm thickness which has lowered the weight of 
talk particularly way by way and then supply very successfully since many years similarly one of our uh, that is another vertical uh, our different product but one of our israel customer who, who wanted to uh, reduce the weight as well as they wanted to reduce their uh, logistic cost so we redesigned the product uh, develop it validate it at their plant and successfully supply to them so these are the two examples for uh, for innovative cultures as i said earlier we are associated with many education academia like uh, the iim space application center cpet iit gandhinagar uh, so we have a partnership approach with them and uh, wherever we need their support and they are kind enough to give us uh, good support and based on their support and our uh, team efforts we achieve these milestones and uh, we are now one of the only supplier for so many products in india and this is also helping us in uh, atmanirbhar bharat also we have a culture of innovation and we have a different uh, system and different processes in house next bye here we try to explain uh, different culture building practices we have adopted in our organization we start our day with the daily exercise prayer and good news sharing uh, we have a quarterly karma yogi meetings all our workers who are really backbone of our organization we, we sit with them discuss with the uh, problem faced by our customers problem faced by individual from their side also and uh, we are discussing and jointly solve these problems we have a unique practice of uh, graveyard of negative thoughts so we have a small space in our organization whereby we buried our negative thoughts if anyone says that i cannot do this then we request him to write it on the sheet of the paper and buried it at our graveyard and that is opening up our mind and uh, we achieve what we need to we also have a practice of uh, small book distribution to everyone in our organization we have till now we have distributed more than 110 books so to uh, Uh, for developing good culture in our organization this is one of the area where we are working with this so we wanted to develop uh, not only the organization but to the people also who are associated with this next slide please this is just a media coverage which media has covered our organization at different time of our journey thank you very much uh, for giving me patience hearing and if any question happy to answer thank you mr babur patel for your wonderful presentation and uh, uh, a deep explanation about our product and our organization so uh, before we proceed to q and a session i will uh, run a poll here uh, and uh, i would request all the participants to please rate the presentation rating from 1 to 5 the the poll is on and all are requested to please uh, put in your your votes
Thank you. Thank you all the participants. So with this, we open our forum for uh, Q&A. Uh, whoever wants to have uh, their question, they can please uh, type in in a Q&A tab. Yeah, we, we have a question from Manish Jain. Uh, how much power handling capacity of WR284 and WR340? Mr. Bhagwan, you See, basically, uh, we are metal manufacturer. So our core competency is on the metal. So, so what we do is we give the required uh, tolerances and uh, required properties for the waveguides. As far as this power handling capacity, that is a microwave subject. Say. We are not expert in that subject, how much power handling capacity for different waveguide tubes. But definitely, uh, we would like to uh, study it and uh, we'll revert to you because at present, personally, I do not know what the power capacity, uh, handling capacity for WR284 and WR350. But we, uh, that design aspects is being handled by our customers and. Uh, they, they give us the uh, size that is yes, need WR284 or WR340. And uh, so that design, we can supply the material. But from my team, if anyone can answer this, Suresh Bhai, can you, can you help it? I can partly, I am Suresh Shah from Siddhi. Uh, I can partly uh, respond to the query. WR284, normally it is used for 2.6 to 3.98 gigahertz frequency, normally. And WR340 is used for 2.2 to 3.3 gigahertz frequency range. Power related information we at such uh, are not knowing currently, but frequency range we are knowing it. Okay, thank you. Any other question, Bhavi? No, I do not find any question coming up. Uh, uh, Participants, if anybody wants to speak, they may please raise their hand so that I am I can unmute them. I, I find someone with the name called AVG. Uh, can you please uh, tell your full name, sir? By the way, one more person is there. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Is uh, there I... any gasket required between two flanges of? WR340 to avoid leakage of microwave? Uh, yeah, that depends upon the manual application. As I, as I understand, if it is a pressurized uh, requirement, then definitely this uh, gasket is required to avoid the uh, microwave leakages. But normal applications, uh, I don't think that gasket is. Uh, and whatever waveguide we are supplying, that is a plain waveguide with the flange. Both the side planes are being welded. But yes, for high pressure or high volume of the data microwaves to prevent the leakages, we need to use the gasket. Thank you, Bhagwaji, for your answer. Mr. Sunil, I hope you have uh, satisfied with the, with the response. Anybody else would like to share your comments, please? Uh, please type in or, or they can raise hand so that I can unmute their mic. Yeah, can unmute him. 
yes i have already done it uh, mr manish you may please speak now Mike still not unmuted. Manish ji, you are ready to unmute now. Manish ji, you are ready to unmute. Please unmute and speak. Manish ji, are you are you able to hear my voice, Manish ji? Because from our end uh, we have yeah. Thank you. You may please speak now. uh manish at least i am not able to hear your voice if anybody else is able to hear because i see his mic is going green but uh, your voice is not, not coming to me at least yeah he is not audible so his voice is not uh, coming here also so seems to be some technical issue Probably. can you type your quest uh, the query in question answer box so that we can answer you Manish ji, I understand you are trying to speak, but uh, we are not audible. Uh, so you may please type your question again in in Q and A tab. Anybody else who would like to have uh, any questions uh, from Mr. Pawan, Mr. Pradeep, Mr. Sunil? What we can do by the way is uh, we have Mr. Manish Jain uh, contact details. So later on we can speak to him and we can work it out. Yes, definitely, sir. We have contact uh, for all the participants present today. And uh, if there is no question, maybe we can conclude uh, this webinar. And uh, on behalf of the group, I once again thank you all the participants. Thank you for your time and your. Uh, your your uh, valuable feedbacks thank you very much we will our team will get back to you shortly thank you all the partners present today thank you very much thank you uh, the team siddhi thank you thank you thank you sir 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 thank you sir